again. I am Gretel Colleen and welcome to Big Brother, where tonight we will not only be visited by the magnificent Marty and the beautifully buffed Blair, but we will also watch two shell-shocked housemates begin their golden journey along the cracked bitumen and sometimes waterlogged path that leads to Big Brother land. Yes, two housemates are going inside tonight. Will they join the lonely guy in the roundhouse or the five bouncing beans in the square house? Let's see which one currently looks like it would be the most fun to join. Ben's fast asleep in the roundhouse. Belinda's worried about her ability to sleep. Hey guys, does anyone snore? No, I, I got told I snore. I got told I snore, but I Richard, don't remember. Neither do I. Richard said, make sure you worry about your snoring. And I said, oh, OK. I talk in my sleep. Do you? Yeah. Don't worry. I'll say, it's OK. It's OK. Hey, do you keep <laughs> snore? Mm. Yeah, I do. I'll just pet you. I don't snore, only when I get a cold. Yeah, I get told if I drink too much or if I'm really, really tired, I snore. I only okay. snore when I'm really, really comfortable. So we've got a snoring room. Which day is which? I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> hey, cheers. <laughs> How is it that we're like living with Con the Fruiterer? <laughs> 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 Couple of days, mate. Aight. Aight. <laughs> guys, this is like camp. It is a camping time. It is, especially with a hat. It's camping. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Is that a well padded bra? No, it's not padded. It's Guess just the like it's shape. Oh, can I put it on? Can you take off your underwear without taking off your pants? Keep it off me. No. Yes. Oh, no. I wouldn't do that to my underwear. Keep I it can. on. What? I want to see if I fit. Let's see what size I have. I can. I've, I've never put a bra on. I've taken many off. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's just like... Oh, baby, stop. It's a tit sling. Oh, yeah, but a tit sling. sling. It's crazy. No one watches? No. <laughs> no. Oh, nice. I'm actually this size. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> hey, come here, come here, come here. Put a shirt on now. Uh, no. That's a good idea. I ain't got shirts. <laughs> ah, that's right. Let's try this. I'll do a strip tease for you ladies. You want one? Okay, yes, yeah, okay. Who wants a strip tease? Yeah, me, Pink yeah. Bean. <laughs> Which is the skirt? This is the skirt? Yeah, that one. Is that, that one. <gasps> I have to say. Everyone's like laughing and falling over. Thank God, they're videotaping it because I don't have You got some shoes? <laughs> <laughs> some Should we makeup, put some makeup on him? Mm, boom, boom. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. I did this in America. I've dressed up as girls so many times. Yeah. No. It's all fun. No. Oh, yeah. You've done this before, haven't you? Millions this of times. is a profession. Oh, yeah. This is profession. That's what it is. <laughs> but most of the girls are dressed up in like really tight stuff and they go, oh, this is quality. I'm like, me and you, we'll be swapping clothes. <laughs> Everything I own is lycra because I go up and down four dress sizes every You're year. You're too good to be true. See, you can't go to it tonight because I'll be growing a moustache and it's not good. No, you're just, not a Just not cool, man. The show commences in three to five seconds. Excellent. Oh, Music my gosh, bro. Bro. Not like this. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> After Carlo's performance, it's finally bedtime. Day one in the house is over. Can we just have a moment to appreciate how lucky we are out of all the 27,000 yeah. people? Yeah. I'm a star, OK? <laughs> no, we're not a star. We're yeah. just normal people. And you'll be a star. Yeah. That's so yeah. true, like... Yeah, and lucky. we were picked because we're... Who Compatible we with each other. Yeah, yeah yourself. Yeah, you're, so. you're, you're you. And yeah. yeah. So, that is how the action in the house ended last night. Why do male footballers love putting on ladies' underwear and pretending to be women? If you really want to feel like a woman, go and clean a toilet, cook dinner and ask someone if your bum looks big. Joining me now is a man loved by both men and women. A true neighbour's heartthrob. Would you welcome Blair? No. <laughs> and, of course, the man who not only stole Jessie's heart... Look, I'm calling her Jessie, that's what you call her. But the rest of the nation as well. This is the inimitable Marty. Hello. Hello. I feel like there should be applause, but of course no one's going to clap because oh, it's us. There you go. Thank you. 
happy to be here. Now, obviously you both watched everybody go into the house last night. Yeah, had a good watch. It was very exciting. Now, Blair, what did you think of the people, of the cast, let's think, of, of the, the housemates? Of the cast. Um, it was a good, good mix. I found them a lot more uh, real and nervous and a bit more... Uh, cautious of what they're about to go into, which is quite refreshing compared and to this guy, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a bit of rivalry between the two big brothers, isn't there? Not at all. Well, never. We, we both know how it feels to come second. I mean, that's <laughs> something to share. Well, you were often compared. Else. Are there types of people that go into the house? Could either of you see yourselves going into the house this time? I could. I'd love to go in there. Yeah, that's we, not we, what I meant. Oh, really. oh. oh I you mean, mean as did... another as another castmate, so to speak? Yeah. Oh. Um, you can compare everyone to each personality, but... I think I'm like Saxon, yeah, so. yeah. You're like Saxon, yeah. and are you like Belinda? <laughs> no, not much, no, I am. Oh, really? Who are you I like? I have got the dress sense. Um, I'm nothing like Carlo, and... Uh, I'm, I you want to be. Oh. He wants to be. If you boys were in the house, who'd be driving you mad so far? Oh. You can say no, it, you're outside it's the house. it's too hard. It's only been like a day and a half. So Did you hear you... the question? Everyone if you guys were in place, the house... I think it's... People are trying to be dominating and, and out there, so... It's good. I mean, you've just got to find your own place in the house and try to fit in. So, so what are these first 24 hours like? Are they a nightmare? Yeah, Is everyone trying? Nah, oh, it's, awesome. it's incredible. You just, it's just adrenaline and exciting, and it's a, it's a whole new experience. So I know what they're going through. I'd love to be back in there myself. I mean, Would you? It excites me. It's Look at fun. you. You're trying to get a gig in the house. We're not giving it to you. <laughs> what about the house itself? Just quickly, the design and the layout. Sensational. And the, uh, the two houses got the chance to have a look and it's um yeah it's going to be something special for sure Blair wants to go in the square room because he's a bit of a square so. yeah. <laughs> gee that's a good joke Marty. Yeah, that's that's excellent that joke. all right now what i want to do just so that we can cut away from you two is have a look at how the housemates responded to big brother's announcement of who was going in and who was to drive on uh, right. hello right, so this go... is big brother tomorrow Get back in the car. You're gone. Fight. Benjamin, you may enter the house. What is that about? Hey. Here comes the next car. Regina, get back in the car. Saxon, you get back in the car too. How are you? Belinda, please go onto the stage. Daniel, get back in the car. Joanne, get back in the car. Claire, go up onto the stage. Vincent, get back in the car. Liam, yes. get back in the car. Irene, up on stage. Patrick, get back in the car, please. Carlo, stay on stage. Chris will get back in the car. Oh. Jamie, oh, yep. stay on stage. All right. Deeply emotional time. <laughs> you look like you're about to cry, Marty. Yeah, Did you so relate it was, to I it? it was cruel. Yeah. Cruel? Well, they, were, they were hyped to go in the house. I've probably been thinking about that for the last, oh, I don't know, week. 72 hours. Yeah, week. Well, how long ago would they possibly have found out they were going in? I think you find out about six days to a week, yeah, don't about, you? Yeah, about that. Yeah. All right. And then you run around and try and get the most impressive clothes you can. And uh, then you're locked up. Well, you did. I bought we a new shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I got a new pair of undies. I didn't get worn. Yeah. And then you get locked down, which we're well, locked up, but we call it locked down. Yeah. yeah. And what's that like? You take one friend, don't you? Yeah, I, I took my brother in with me, and uh, we thought we'd go up for the coast for one last weekend of debaucherous activity. And got in the hotel room, they locked the door and said, "Enjoy." And we didn't know what was going on. Well, a good thing in Blair's case, yeah. Mm. And, and who did you take? I took a mate from home. Yeah, he's um, on the neighbouring farm. Yeah, Chris. So um, he loved it, you know, it was um, good fun, although we did get sick of each other after a few days. So you had pretty well nothing other than your mate Chris. Yeah. Nothing other to think about rather than, oh my goodness, what's it going to be like and completely psyching yourself well, up going in the house. they're looking after you as well and the whole time you're asking them, so what's going on? And they're, pff, I don't know, I just got told to look after you. It was you. the first sort of experience yeah. of what it was going to be like because you would, you would 
you know, taken here, taken there. You can't look at this, you can't look at that. Mm. And so then what crazy. happens when you're so completely psyched, finally you're out of lockdown, locked up, you're in the car, you're driving towards it and somebody says to you, no, you're not going in. Well, it was funny, yeah. I mean, the housemates sort of thought, yes, we're on stage, we're going to be in, you know. They thought they were better than everyone else, I think, because <laughs> they were selected to go in, but they don't even know that... Yeah. The whole shock of the situation as well, you expect it to run very fluently and then all of a sudden you get told to go home. It's... It's, yeah, it's going to throw your, your brain I mean, into a bit of disarray. For us, we were thrown in with all the housemates, and so it was just a mad time because everyone was in there together. It was like meeting people. Because that's what I was afraid of, like meeting everybody and, yeah, obviously, and getting along with everyone. Yeah, you're a very quiet everyone. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah you must have hated it. That's right. Yeah. So that one, to be prepared for your socialising and to confront that fear, yeah. um, <laughs> you're then completely prepared, and then someone says, well, actually, no, you're, you're a reject for the moment. Let's have a look at the people's reactions when they were told they weren't going in. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happened tonight, really. Oh, well, I don't really know what happened. I guess I'm not in the house. I thought I was going to last a bit longer than that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I'm not. Oh, really? Oh, that's OK. So that's it. Ten seconds of fame, it's all good. What can I say? <laughs> OK, so that's it, just, it's over. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm just really out of it at the moment. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> ah! Seriously? It's not one of those little tricks, is it? I'm pretty sweet. Not too bad, I've been involved and it's been fun anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a bit upset. That's OK. You're serious, aren't you? I would have liked to have gone in after all that preparation. But, but I was quite positive up and until this point. Oh, well. Oh, what can you do? We'll see what happens. Look, I'm not a sore loser. Yeah. <laughs> so close, but, you know, not, not there. I'll be OK. Big Brother's decision is final. All right. Cheers. Isn't that heart-wrenching? Now, the most insightful, compassionate and wise woman in the universe is joining us, the Big Brother resident psychologist, Carmel Hill. Let's give her a clap. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, Carmel, some people went into the house and some people have not gone into the house. Did you choose the ones who haven't gone into the house tonight because you thought they could deal with it a bit better? Um, we've done an extensive psychological test on all of the candidates, all of the shortlisted people, which is um, quite a lot. And um, we found out um, that all of them that uh, have got strong um, ability to cope with whatever we throw at them. So I think the people in the house are equally strong and there's a reasoning behind why we chose them in the house. But we're confident that the people who were rejected last night um, were briefed and debriefed properly. What happens when you're that psyched, as we were discussing before, and you don't get into the house and you know some people have? Does that make you feel like a loser from the very beginning? Most, I spoke to most people afterwards to, um, I guess, talk with them about um, how difficult it was. And uh, most people were hard at themselves. They really were disappointed that somehow they let their friends and families down. So they did feel like they'd failed? Yes. I know. <laughs> They didn't. That's a huge failure. <laughs> well, it's not a huge failure because I think being in yes. um, yeah. part of Big Brother in the shortlist, um, it could have been anyone at the end of the day who actually makes it into the house. It's more All of them are special. It's kind of psyching yourself up for such a big event that's about to happen and obviously you can't escape what's been happening over the last couple of years and to think, right, I'm about to go into this great environment and have it just stripped away from you in such an instant. It, Oh, I wouldn't have handled it very well at all. But I, I think it, it makes them feel good as well because now they know how much of an achievement it is actually to get in there, like to feel and have missed out. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get that feeling to have gone that far and, and not get in. So these guys have, have, have felt that. But now they're going to go and go, hey, yes, we're in here. They well, I wondered, do they feel like double winners, as the ever-optimistic Marty is suggesting, <laughs> or do should they go into the house, like the two housemates who are going in tonight, will they already feel like they're the B team? Uh, no. Um, I think that uh, how Marty describes it is the way I talk with them. Um, it was amazing to be picked and um, it shows that we were right, that they were able to cope with rejection. So we picked them um, because they are able to easily relate to people. So the two people in tonight, they won't have any problems at all. Well, if you think about it, two people going in tonight, that's one day less they have to spend in the house. <laughs> 
That's exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're already oh, wet. Okay. Long Coming up next, a human bombshell. You boys might want to listen to this, so be quiet. A human bombshell is entering the roundhouse. Mm. Mm. What does that mean? This is where the lonely guy lives. He mind. only has one friend at the moment, and just take a look at what he's done to it. Welcome back. And as you can see, Benjamin is making the most of this time alone, reading a book. Richard Branson, is that the autobiography that he's reading? Losing my virginity. Mm. <laughs> what a great ad that is. Last I, week. I but took how that book sad. in myself, actually. Did you? How sad, though, to be lying there in confined spaces, reading of other people's freedom. It is now time for the girl who seems to have everything to enter the life of the man who currently has nothing but that book. How will he cope? Let's ask our panel of experts. Now, you're actually the only expert here, Carmen. So, <laughs> how would he be coping having been locked up for 24 hours by himself? Um, I actually think he's coping very well. Um, we do know that he can cope with stress, but Ben is actually a very likeable rogue. Um, he actually is manic, so he's finding it really hard to uh, do nothing in the house. But he's very competitive, and uh, he really likes to pride himself in believing that he can um, anticipate and read the play. Do you boys think that you would be sort of mentally affected by being alone for 24 hours? Oh, would you feel picked on? Blair was to start with, I think, so it wouldn't really matter. But <laughs> um, I wouldn't feel picked on, no. But I'd definitely try and find something to do, whether it's throw rocks over the roof or just do oh, something. something constructive. It's, yeah. yeah. It, trying to find the reasoning at the moment, I think, towards the end of of the stay you try and find more reason why what's happening what's going on because you're going a little bit more insane at that point it's so early on it's a bit it's kind of like okay this has happened i'll just handle it because it's not going to last forever because it's a start so if you if you keep a logical frame of mind you hope that it'll pan its way I through think, nicely why put someone in there tonight i reckon leave him a week in there by himself and then it'll be really affected probably scarred for life you're the one who thought it was cruel to not let some of the housemates <laughs> in for one night no i but, actually like ben i reckon he's cool <laughs> But I actually think uh, Ben has achieved what we want him to achieve already. And what, and, what yeah. were you planning? What, what's the motivation here? Well, one is that he uh, likes to be in control, so we're taking control away from him. Um, then we predicted that he would uh, trace out the steps of uh, the uh, house, which he has done. Then, um, from my looking at uh, what he did, he has turned the whole thing around to cope and by seeing that, in fact, he is very, very special for being picked to be in the house, which is part of his personality. He likes to feel that he is very important. And then what he's done is he's stamped the house as his. And I think we saw that with the shoes off on the couch. And not many people go into somebody's house and actually lie down and put their feet up. All right, just very, very quickly, what happens then if you've created your own territory and a beautiful, <coughs> blonde, intelligent girl with a comely figure uh, walks in through the you door. You crack open that bottle of champagne that he didn't have last <laughs> night, I think. <laughs> well, just don't talk to her if you don't want to get in trouble, really. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we should all get to know the Joanne phenomenon a little bit better. Hi, my name's Jo and I'm currently working as a solicitor and a part-time model. I'm told I'm good at my job. I go out and meet witnesses and take statements. I think if she decides she wants to pursue a career in law, she will do well. But I think she's also got a few other avenues which she'd like to pursue. I really enjoy long distance running. Uh, it's the time when I can just switch off and not think and just run. I loved uni. It was so much fun. She put the time in, she put the effort and she got the rewards. I'm very proud of her. People ask me what I want to do with my life and I say I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she's a very outgoing person, um, you know, very loving, caring. She won't be difficult to live with. I guess she's very opinionated and she's very, um, believes strongly in those opinions. Jo reckons, you know, she's always right. Um, I am. My brother thinks that I'm a clean freak. She's really obsessive. I think hygiene is very important. 
She's bossy to everyone in the house, I reckon, like even her twin parents. That's a talent. <laughs> I love spending time with all of my friends. She's an absolute ball. She's a very fiery girl. She'll give you a whack from nowhere if you talk to say the wrong no. thing about her. No. no. <laughs> um, don't listen to him, he knows nothing. I don't really want to make a final determination about what I want to do with my life until I've at least seen or done a few other things. I'm standing here with the beautiful Joanne. Now, I know a lot of boys were disappointed that you haven't gone into the house. How did you feel when you weren't uh, allowed into the house last night? Um, state of display, shock. A little bit sceptical, because I was like, oh, I don't know, you know, Big Brother's pretty sneaky and doesn't tell us everything, so, and told us to expect lots of surprises, and last night was just one of them. So when were you told that you're going into the house tonight? Uh, this morning. And what did you feel like then? I said, well, hurry it up, let's, let's go, come on. <laughs> and do you feel, I just have to ask you girl to girl, Yeah. woman to girl, do you feel that the people who are already in there are somehow better or leading the race because you're coming in after? You mean advantaged by yes. having that time to be able to build a rapport yep. whilst I'm not there? Um, a little bit, but uh, I don't know, they've only had 24 hours. Now, have you got a plan? No, I don't. I'm just, I can't, I can't preempt what the people are going to be like and until I get there and see them and meet them and, you know, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to strategise as yet. Are you prepared for anything? <gasps> you <so>. are? <laughs> I hope so, I don't All know. All right, well in you go. Start the wander down there. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you have a fabulous time. Thank you. Off you go. Okay. Bye. Just walk that way. Thanks. Goodbye. See you Greta. Bye. Bye. <laughs> have fun. Be good. Welcome back. You are watching Big Brother. As you can see, Joanne is about to enter the roundhouse. This is the space where Benjamin has spent the last 24 hours completely alone and possibly going quietly insane. His mind will currently be full of doubts and insecurities, but in only moments his mind may be full of Joanne. God! Oh my God! Come in. How are you? I'm Joe. I'm Ben. How are you? Hi Ben. How are you? Actually, now I'll just give you a hug because yeah. I'm probably going to be hugging you in the ground. How are you? Time anyway. How are you? Good. You've just woke me up. Oh, have I? No, I was just reading. Is the everyone book. sleeping? Or I'm it. What? I've been here on my own. Are you kidding me? No. Get out. No. Get out of. Are you serious? It's me. I'm going insane. I'm crawling on the walls. Sign number two. You're two. However. There's another house, I think, that way somewhere. So you're it. Come in here. Oh, you. wow. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so you wonder why I'm Where do we set up shop? Where do I go? Oh, my God. This is bizarre. Oh, my God. We are like the seven dwarves. Yeah, this With is the great. beds. Oh, my, my God. Beds. Where are you? I'm here. All right, well, I'll go here then. I'm here. I'll be next to you, buddy. Oh, I've got are it. you kidding me? No, this is it. I've been here from day one. Well, yesterday. Yesterday? Going, yesterday. Yeah. 25, 26 hours. Going inside. Are you going nuts? I've still got a headache from uh, the three days we spent at the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So you had big nights. So did you stuff? only get here today? No, no, no. I've been in the hotel since Thursday. Oh, they've only just brought you out here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get to the bottom of it. Because this is just crazy. This is crazy. Oh, you've just you know, they me. told us to not anticipate or preempt or expect. Yeah. So you didn't come out Sunday night? What do you mean? Last night. 
Did I, I came out Sunday night and, then and Big Brother back. told me to go back in my car and go oh, home. You I was in the car with a girl, Tamara. Yeah. And Who, where did you go? Did you on the stage or did you... No, nah, they told... No, nah, we'll see. We were, the, ve we were the very first car. You were the very first car. I think I was about the third. And then what they've done, they've told me... We both got out of the car and they've told Tamara to get back in the car and they've told me to go to the house. And they've walked me down to the house and brought me in here. And I sat here and listened to all the other cars rock up, the roars and the laughter and everything. Yeah. And I sat and sat and sat and no one came. Oh, <laughs> then all of a sudden so they mean. said, uh, go in here. And I went in here and there's a plate of food with one candle and a little bottle of champagne. Oh, nice. And you want a big bottle of champagne when you buy yourself, it. thank you I still you had a headache. I only just had some Panadol about, oh, Paracetamol about half hour ago. Yeah. Trying to get rid of the headache because they got a shit face Saturday night at the hotel. Oh, did you? Yeah. I don't know whether... Who were you with? I had Duncan. Who was your loved one? Duncan. Is that your Oh, I had my girlfriend and right. Duncan was there and we So you've out... got a girlfriend? Yes. Right. And we went out okay. and got uh, reasonably drunk. Yeah. And I'm still trying to shake it. So I've been walking around here today in circles, in circles, in circles, and I put a little bell and on the, the door. And the here? It's well, just full it... on, isn't yeah. it? And, and you I just put... walk in. I put a little bell on the door that I found in the backyard, knowing that the only way that anyone could come in that oh, I didn't smart. know was through here. You've and then I heard it. a door. It's happen. true, there's someone here. Did you just... What about that, eh? Now, Marty, you did notice that Benjamin... Oh, that might be for you. You did notice... Well, we're in the control room where the show is actually being broadcast from, so forgive the distractions. Now, tell me. Yes. You noticed that Benjamin forgot that his girlfriend was with him only two nights That's ago. That's right. He remembered that Duncan was there with him, but his girlfriend <laughs> just had to come a few seconds later, so... Is that kind of like yourself, Marty? It is. Yeah. I mean, if any of us would give this house, mate is that it's very hard if you have a relationship before you go into the house because you never know who you're going to meet and I mean look who Benjamin has just met it's not going to be easy now how would Benjamin be feeling now do you think Blair oh, over the moon wouldn't you I mean no well, just, oh, he's been climbing the walls like you said all all day and a half or whatever it's been and uh well, have the moon well, to have someone to talk to, and if it's a gorgeous blonde-looking girl, then, yeah, you're going to be he, twice as happy, aren't you? Is he going to think, gee, this could be a really close relationship? Well, he conveniently forgot his girlfriend, so you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Carmel, um, what is your take on this? I, I noticed that you noticed the fact that he said he'd been there from the very beginning, which is, in fact, one day. <laughs> Yes, well, my take on this is that it's now Ben's house and he's playing the perfect host. Uh, with the come on in? Yes, come on in and I'm going to show you around. Now, how long will that ownership of the space last, do you think? A long time. And will someone like Joanne uh, disturb his equilibrium? Because he's got pretty firm views on women, hasn't he? Um, he will flirt with Joanne, but believe it or not, we didn't pick Joanne because of her looks. We picked Joanne because she is the female equivalent to him, but there are differences. The similarities... So are you saying that they're a match made in heaven? No, what I'm saying is that she's equally competitive. She's equally self-driven. So he will find her a threat. And will she find him a threat? No, because she's also very caring and um, she will try to accommodate the perfect host. The perfect wife, what about that? Well... The interesting thing is we've got one bombshell in the house now, but they don't only make female bombshells, they also come in masculine form. Stay tuned, because after this, not you two, after this break, we will be meeting the Italian stallion who deserves a medallion. What for? Stay tuned to find out. Maybe assume wrongly or rightly that there's five in the other house. Probably. Maybe 15 people up, probably. See, yeah. we have no kitchen five, five, here either. Five, three houses. I reckon it's the economy house. We have kitchen. All we have to cook is it's a barbecue. barbecue. See, so they I don't reckon we're the food all house. the time. Or well, this is only temporary. Welcome back. You are watching Big Brother and you have just been watching The Square House where we are about to unleash our high-achieving, well-travelled, debonair heartthrob. The unfortunate news is he does already have a girlfriend. Hi, I'm Vincent. I'm 29. I'm a structural engineer. I design buildings. Um, 
designing everything from skyscrapers to um, the stadium in China for the 2008 Olympics. My company basically designed most of the Melbourne skyline. If I set out to achieve something, I don't stop until I get it. Interests, things like, you know, um, science fiction stuff. Yeah, Mark gave it to me. It took me two years to build the damn thing. Two years and about four ex-girlfriends. <laughs> girls seem to like him, he likes the girls. I have a sense of humour. Um, I do have some intellectual capacity. I can hold a conversation. It's a Capricorn. So Capricorns have a tendency to be one step above everyone else well, in their own head anyway. I was always taught if you do something, you do it right, you do it properly, you do it the first time. I guess it plays the role of the know-it-all. I uh, have a tendency to say what I think. Vincent is very good at playing the game. Well, he's a type of person you ever love or you hate. I don't know, he's always there when you need him. He's very caring, even though sometimes he doesn't want to admit it. I'm good to those who are good to me. I'm interested to see what he's going to be like. I'm going to be watching and laughing. <laughs> uh, I'll probably be kicked out the first couple of weeks, let's be honest. <laughs>
This, this is, is giving me tears. Yeah, they'll bleed us in one by one, I'm oh. telling you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are you doing? Vincent. 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 I went back to... Good to see someone. Good to see a new face. You went... Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I'm not supposed to say that. Hey, that was true. One house. They said you're going home, but I thought... To university up here, doing my law degree. So... That's why we're in the house together. Why? I'm a lawyer. Oh, you're not. Well, I've got, uh, I've got 12 months to go. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Do you need some assistance? Because well, there were 16 cars all up. Yeah. So did they film me coming back in just now? Do you, have you seen them before? Was there an audience? Yes, yes. No, you, yeah. you guys. Oh. No, no, no audience. It was just me. And, and Greta. Oh, wow. Just me and Greta. Because like freaking out, why? Because uh, like you're not complete strange. No, you are complete stranger, but in the sense that we're going to say that's why we have to have a bed. Why have you been? There's only five beds. There's only going to be another four people. Let's see if it's. What about? I want. Is my stuff around? Hopefully my stuff. It might be in the store. Might be. Yeah, leave it on the floor, mate. Can someone show me around? Yeah. This is just sorry. We just. This is just so weird. I read my address for this. I bet you they'll give us one person. Oh my god! Just for a visitor. Oh my god! This is a lounge room? But no, wait a second, Vincent. There's another guy, Ben, in another house. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in a house. No, yeah. actually, another guy? Another guy. His name is Ben. Hey, so I reckon they're going to have two. A house. And two days. Get out. Yeah, five years. What did you have? I'm doing five subjects. What did you have? I uh, had contract. Yep. And torch. Stage. Yeah. So there was a guy who lifted his arms up. That was someone else. Because I, it was happened so fast. I didn't count how many chairs. So I was going to count the chairs. Five times. chairs up on stage. Well, well only five. Because that's five. Because I was the last one and I was five. I don't know. So okay, they sent you back to the hotel. What happened today? Yeah. I went to see a movie. <laughs> I went to. <laughs> I went to see a movie. So where's the I went pants, to. Bro. This is it. Yeah, it's it. I knew I recognised you. And they're single. So you're in his? I'm on the floor. Yeah, so you're in his. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll take the couch. Well, the... Well, no, no, if the couch is comfortable, I'll sit on the couch. This we had a gay guy, a really tall, tall guy. No, there are two. They split us up into two. We've seen upstairs. We can and upstairs, right? And we've been... Showers are outside. Showers are outside? Yeah, we've been noticing doors and stuff. Around yeah, that are locked, that's a good so that probably lead us upstairs no, no, eventually. I wasn't in your group, but my group yeah. was. Yeah. Oh my I'm God. sorry, this is just too much. Yeah. You, you, were Saturday, you yeah. went home. I wasn't with you all on Saturday. I saw you at the police academy show. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I, I would have been like, cool, really cool. just one more night. No, you haven't seen him, don't worry. That's weird. You should come after me. You should have just went like this, you wouldn't have said it like that. I want to say. I was sitting up the top and you were walking by. Hang on, show me the showers. Outside. Outside. Like external. External showers. There's only two as well. Oh, oh my so god. I've got wine for tonight. Oh, That's right. So, Vincent has entered the square house. Now, Carmel, you commented that he was already taking control. Mm. Tell well, us. Well, he's not dominant type, but he's got a really strong social presence and already they've accepted him as a leader. Is that because he's older than the others? He's older, but he's also confident. Um, if you see the pattern, we've put two people in tonight who are very, very competitive and very driven and uh, that achieved in their own professions and uh, uh, Vincent uses charm and he's got traditional uh, male values and uh, what are they just out of interest come on uh, well he's the type to open the door for a female oh. and uh, he believes in honor Suck. <laughs> Get a note of that, bloke. <laughs> yes. We've got Carlo in the house, sure. who's shameless. So now we have an Italian who actually uh, will treat women with respect. A nobleman. Yes. And how do you think that will affect Carlo? Well, already Carlo's carrying his bags. Ooh. Oh, it's so symbolic. Now, we should point out that Vincent and Jamie met at an audition. <laughs> Because, of course, you have to audition for Big Brother, and that's how they met. You two didn't meet like that, did you? No, so he was the other series. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, do you think... Sorry, Blake. Oh, I was just going to say, with Vince, it would have been the novelty of having a new person until that novelty wears off. They're all going to love being around him, obviously, because it's a bit more stimulus. Is, is that... Ooh, or is it reading thousands good? of questions at him. Well, wouldn't you? Bang, bang. Well, you know, when the intruders come in, you, you're so excited, well, kind of, to have new people in there. But you also get taken back by that. I know when the intruders come into our house, like, we already had a place in the house. And you, you were there and people knew you for that. And then when people come in, it just shifts things all around, I guess. They've been settled for about 24 hours, so it doesn't take long bef before you, you know, you've well, got a place in there. Yeah, they're really a housemate, but not an intruder. 24 yeah. hours is not a long time. Yeah. And but did you think that the five of those people were struggling for someone to be their leader just over the last 24 hours? Did they need someone of this well, time? Carlo likes being the centre of attention. He doesn't like leading. 
What about Claire? I've noticed that she goes from being chatty to very, very quiet. She, she likes to suss things out. Well, we put her in because she is that contrast. She demonstrates that beautifully. She likes her own space and she's quiet, but she's also very fun-loving. All right, so just quickly, Claire would be feeling good or bad at the moment with Vincent in the house? She will love him All because right. she's intelligent and she's got an engineer that she can talk with. All she right. will love him. <laughs> love him. And she's also a clairvoyant. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win, Carmel? Yeah. All right. What will happen now? That is, of course, the big question. Two new housemates, two separate houses. I've heard rumours already that... Actually, you will have to come back after the break to hear that one because not even the housemates know what is going on. Two houses. Yeah, do, do Did you, you watch Telly? Vincent. Yeah, watch I'm telly. Not, wouldn't, not, he wouldn't be allowed to. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, that's all right. When I watched, when Check we watched Ben on the, I don't know, you saw Ben, mm. it was a different coloured house. It was like a... To me, uh, it looked a darker coloured house. What do you house. mean? When you saw Ben going to another... Into it. He, he was, was into first. it. He and was he into it. He was into it at the beginning. Okay, beginning. yeah. We'll start oh, from start the beginning. Start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. Okay. Tell me what happened. So, we're all up on stage. No, and before or after, some, they yeah. told me where to go. Let's work out what car we were in. Yeah. What car ten. you were in. When you got there and what you saw before you. The chauffeur? Are we talking from the chauffeur? I drink a bottle of champagne and I... Oh, yeah, I do that too. No. Last night, I just couldn't look at it. And when I went in there to get so this So you were dinner, just stressed last night? Well, I, I came in and I sort of sat and no-one was coming and I thought, he's playing tricks, but I thought I would have got more than just me. Yeah. I'm thinking, why are they doing this whole house? It, it's got to be more than just for just sitting. sitting me here. Yeah. And then when they called me in to get dinner it's and there was amazing. one candle and there was, a, a, like, a nice big salad... Uh, sorry, a seafood and salad platter. Oh, nice. nice. big fruit platter. Nice. Oh, Can we have that tonight? Yeah, I bought it out. <laughs> Welcome back. So what do you think will happen now? Will there be riots? Will there be happiness? Will there be love? Let's ask our experts. What do you think? Oh, yes, love. that's yes. you. Finally, we're included after yeah, the hour. Yeah, I going to say, we're back, the experts. Um, <laughs> well, I think love's always on the cards. Which house would you rather be in at the moment? The two-person house or the six-person house? Six, I would say. What about you, Blair? I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. He knows. You know. No, the six-person one's fun, but at the same time, if you're in the two-person one, you've got time to grow over the week. Obviously, more people are going to come in, so that week's going to actually not stretch as much as the one they're going to get to know each other pretty quick, the other household. So, no, it's a bit of a contrast there. Not sure. I just like square objects, so that's why the house appeals to me. Yeah. Good intellectual Simplicity. choice. Mm -hmm. Now, the two people who were sitting there, Joanne and Benjamin, are having a very serious chat about torts and whatever it is, contract law, is this the path it's going to take? Uh, no. I think that um, Joanne's very accommodating and she's very warm, so she'll be attentive, but uh, they have no idea how long they're going to be in the house uh, for, just the two of them. So are we seeing the real person with either of them here or are they both on their best behaviour? Um, no, I think you're seeing the real people. I think uh, we've got Ben uses whatever he needs to use to um, impress and he's using charm at the moment and that's working well. Go you good thing Benjamin. <laughs> charm or away. But I think it's a bit like a first date <laughs> that um, when you are accommodating and uh, you have a male that you know you like but then you want to go home um, she won't be able to go home. <laughs> so I think there's going to be some difficulty probably uh, tomorrow morning. Rejection. Oh that'll be like the second date tomorrow wondering if they should make a commitment. How intriguing. I'm becoming psychic too. This That's is perfect. Right. <laughs> Let's have a look at the house. Let's see what's happening. Shut her up so that she'd have more to do. Aww. And all of a sudden we start That's with one sweet. cat, two cats, five so birds, you got a eight fish. Yeah. Get She's out. my little eight zookeeper. Fish. Eight fish. And we named them all. And eight, six birds, we named them all after a family and friends. So I said, yeah. just go ahead and talk to them. And then we bought the dog. What and kind now of dog? Oh, the Staffordshire. Uh, yeah, Staffy Cross Border yeah. Cow. We got it from the pound. Yeah. So oh, bought, that's good. We bought my nana up and her old Nana's. her sister to Nana. power sit so yeah. Kylie can be back and forth. The dog will take Nana. Might have changed. Oh, I couldn't go into no, a news agent. Have. Mm -hmm. I so you still had a chaperone? Over there, they they had yeah, I still had a, I still had a chaperone. I went into. I was allowed to go out. Yeah, and he couldn't And find I went the into uh, one of the big shopping centres, and I just walked right through like it was nothing. Oh. Like I wasn't expecting anything. Did you see any papers? Or oh, so they just said, "Oh, we're going to keep you for another day or something like that." Yeah. Well, they. Uh, I went. I got back to the hotel room. Carmel says. You shattered when they said you are. Carmel said what? Oh, I'd be sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, they drove me off. And Where I thought... Dad owned hotels in Melbourne. Oh. Yeah, they got the... 
It's we just, weird. There's yeah. too many freaky oh, no, coincidences that happening. Yeah, Big Brother's so. just... You know, yeah. we're going to keep on... Playing the ultimate games. Yeah. So how is he about you going on here? Well, he'd hate me to, to talk about this, but I will. So he's up in. Um, yeah, bad luck. <laughs> bad luck, buddy. <laughs> um, can't, can't kill me until I get out. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but as I said, I'm going to be trying to be as open as possible in yeah. this house. Well, like, I'm honest. not going to try and be somebody else. And, no. you know, like, and people see straight through that anyway. Oh, exactly. But um, he was, he's like my rock. Yeah. The whole way through this time. You know, yeah. like, he is the guy that, you know, will go, Joe, you'll do really well. You'll yeah. be fine. You're this, you're that, you're strong. Yeah. You're believing in yourself. You've got strength. You know, and he says a lot like that to me. And then, like, last night when we had to say our goodbyes. Oh, be so did, you, did, you, did you do yeah, this as well? It, it was pretty hard. They, and they rang and because Tim was taking his time to go down because we were just... They're saying, beat them by 4.30, yeah, beat them by yeah. 4.30. and Tim wasn't there. And no. they're ringing going, Joe get Tim down now. And I'm like, OK, he's coming. Anyway, and then like, he had... Well, I think the roundhouse feels a bit fake. They're starting to analyse things a bit too much, I think. They just That's gotta... the square house, mate. Is it the square house? Yeah, the oh, square the square house. Is Sorry, square I'm just confused here. I, I just show you a garden. circle's like that oh, and the square's I've like that. Anyway, the square house, I was at the circle. Square house. Square, yeah. square house. It's starting to analyse things a bit too much, so I've just got to... They're in there now, they should get to know each other and really work out each other's personalities because they are going to spend a long time in there, hopefully. But this is how they're working out each other's personalities, asking no, questions. Not. They're trying to find out what's going on on the outside and what, who's coming in next. You've got to get rid of that. What did you do on the first night, Lani? I had a few beers, exactly. relaxed. Exactly. Yeah, I had a few do? more. I did exactly the same, so I think just not trying to figure anything out, just sit That's there, right. let it happen around That's you. Right. And... Have some fun. Some mm. people aren't like that, guys. I mean, Vincent is an academic, isn't he? Well, he's oh, yeah, why did well, I make yeah, that up? He's not an academic at all. I just hopeless. threw that in to, well, to squash you two. I think the thing is to remember that uh, Vincent is also competitive. <laughs> What he's using is, I was wronged last night, and he's now milking that. Mm. All right. I think it's funny that I'm sitting back here now trying to analyse the show when I was a part of that and, and I've lived that, and I've, I guess you guys did the same thing to me, so thanks well, very much. Yeah, yeah the funny thing is also we that we've had... We had you in a straitjacket as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is we've had you in as experts and you've proved that you're not, so thanks, Marty. <laughs> no thank you, Blair, thanks, and our fabulous expert, no, no, Carmel. No. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Thank so, you. a big thank you to the guests. I will be back tomorrow night at 7.30 with more clues to the Big Brother mystery. Will there be magic, wizards and witches? Will two more housemates be going in? I suspect they will. But one thing I know for sure is that I will be joined by Damien, the love bug from The Last Big Brother, and the extraordinarily lovely Sarah Marie. You can catch up with the new housemate settling in on the 7 o'clock daily show here on Channel 10. And if you need a 24-hour fix of Big Brother, log on and watch the live streaming on our website at bigbrother.optus.com.au. I will leave you safe in the knowledge that with Big Brother, Nothing is what it seems. Clean freaks. I don't know if you're not that, but that doesn't matter because I can do everyone's cleaning. No. Um, but I just clean. That's just my. I'm the same today. Every time, the most exciting part of my day was being able to do my dishes yeah. straight after oh, I ate. Oh, you. So you insane. know, it's just crazy. This is crazy. It just... I wouldn't let me, so I just use my uh, studded belt as a... Yeah, Salute. drink. Salute. Just in Salute. case you do oh, not on. know. Can we do Gamma Joss? Can we do Gamma Joss? Gamma Joss. Gamma Joss. Gamma Joss. Gamma Joss. Gamma Joss. Gamma Joss. Ah. It's Georgian. 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 <laughs> so if it is live, then like people will be really happy. So to this, it looks. Live, gorgeous, gorgeous. I tell you something. Mm. Yeah. That's that. That's that. You go right ahead. Um, it looked a lot bigger in the brochure. Oh. Yeah. The yeah brochure. No, I, I expect. Oh, that. I don't know. Once I can get through mine, I can. There'll be one. Oh, the we same can just. Yeah. Swap, but we can all swap around. But I um. You're reading Richard's Branson. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I Someone saw that. I just. Good. I saw it and I didn't really go to it. Yeah. And is it good? Yeah. It's so fun. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.